More demands tonight for safety measures along a dangerous stretch of roadway in Riverside after another violent crash, this time a little boy has been killed. That horrific head-on crash killed an eight-year-old boy and left two of his siblings in critical condition. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen went to the scene to show us the danger and the community's frustration. I don't know the kid, but my heart goes out to him. Jesse Marquez dropped off a candle at a growing memorial in Riverside where balloons are asking drivers to slow down. Following a deadly head-on crash that was captured on security camera in which a white car lost control around a tight turn and collided with a great Nissan, we've paused the video in which an eight-year-old boy died. I just don't want this to happen again, and it's got to stop. On May 5th, an out-of-control car jumped on the curb and took out a light pole in front of Isabel Cisneros' home. A month earlier, a truck slammed into her bedroom and left all of this damage. The latest crash happened across the street from her house, which is why she wants a stoplight at the corner of Arlington and Stover Avenues and a four-way stop sign up the hill to calm traffic. There needs to be a stop before the light, because if not, the light... It, the light defeats its purpose. At the top, that's where they just fly down, and that's where how the accidents have been happening. Throughout Wednesday, people who live nearby offered their sympathy to the boy's family. His 10-year-old sister and 16-year-old brother are listed in critical condition, while their 25-year-old sister, who was driving them to school, is in serious condition. They should also have stop signs, you know, I mean, right here for the children. At least they can walk, the children who can walk to school with their parents. In a written statement, the city of Riverside says in part, the city council approved a traffic signal for this intersection, which is expected to be completed and energized by October. I've had three dogs come out and get hit by cars. Jesse Marquez lives near the crash site. Here's his reaction to the city's promise. I would like for them to do is have somebody sit out here and, 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 and monitor these cars coming through here. Have them come and sit out here and just watch. And they'll see that, you know, it's not a joke. The police department says the driver of the white car is currently in the hospital. Investigators are waiting for his toxicology results while they investigate the crash. In Riverside, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.